Hello everybody, welcome to Spurred On. I am delighted to be having a chat with Darren Anderton at this time. Darren, welcome to the channel. How you doing, you okay? Yeah, good thanks man. Uh, so, just going to ask you a few little questions about some uh, things with your time plan at Spurs and what you're up to now. Let's start with Spurs, I'm going to start with a little, a little innocuous question to get us into it. When you were playing for Spurs, what was your favourite Spurs kit? Favourite Spurs kit? Oh, don't know. Um... Probably the Adidas one. I always liked Adidas uh, yeah. growing up. Um, but actually, I probably I preferred the kits when I was a kid. I think you know the yellow one, the yellow one, and the light blue ones. The away, the away oh, the kids back in the day. Yeah, yeah. In fact, when I started at Spurs, the, f the first away kit was it was the light blue, and I made my debut in it. So I, I quite like that one. Great stuff. And uh, about making your debut, I'm sure you get asked about this a lot, but do you remember anything particularly special about when you made your debut? Uh, did you get wound up on the day by any of the other players? Is there anything you could tell us that we might not already know about by watching other interviews? Um, I don't know, really. I think it, it, the funny thing about it was I was it was away to Southampton. I'm from Southampton. Yeah. Uh, I played for Portsmouth, so I got absolutely abused by the, the Saints fans because of my Portsmouth links. Uh, I remember taking throw throwing on the side at one point and people abusing me and uh, people I actually sat next to watching Southampton about five years earlier. So so that was really weird. And then the last couple of minutes, I got uh, Francis Benali elbowed me, eight stitches in my in my eye, and got the biggest roar of the day. It was a, it was an awful game, nil nil. Uh, welcome to the Premier League. Welcome to the Premier League indeed. Um, did you as a player like that though, a bit of needle from the fans? Like was you one of the players who kind of really when they tried to wind you up, they make you want to play better or how do you feel about that kind of thing when you was playing? Yeah, I mean, I, I quite enjoyed it. That's what it's all about. I think uh, I think it's uh, it shows a little bit of respect, really. The, the fact is that they, they want to put you off. They want to give you a bit of abuse. If they, you know, if they leave you alone, then they're not too worried about you. So, uh, but it certainly, it spurs you on. If someone's giving you a bit of grief, you want, you know, you want to ram it back down their, back down their faces, it. really. Um, and did you ever have um how did you get on with the spurs fans when you was at spurs did you find that quite a lot of the time they were really behind you or like you personally as a player i mean or did you find that they liked other people more or was there ever a time when you got in a little row of the spurs fans anything like that no 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 no, no. the spurs fans are always really good to me I, when i first went there i was only 20 uh struggled the first three or four months had a bit of a hernia the, uh injury that i didn't even realize and i was nowhere near my best uh it was bit daunting coming to a new team the fans were great to me the media abuse you know they, they, they battered me but uh, the, the fans were, were really really good really patient uh, and luckily I was able to repay that faith and when I had an operation I came back a completely different player and from that point they were always great to me there was probably only one time they they got me was when um, I was up for a you know my contract was running out and I uh, hadn't signed and George Graham had put it in the papers that you know I wanted this you know x y and z and Oh, you know, I came back from an injury and I, I was warming up. Uh, first game back, running down the touchline, and they get and the fans gave me a bit of abuse, greedy this, greedy that, um, which which uh, which hurt a little bit because I, you know, it was it was nothing like that. You know, just a ill part of negotiating a contract, and within a within a month I'd signed a new deal anyway. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, that was the only time. And then we had a, I think we had a game the following Tuesday, and that you know, and I started, and they were absolutely brilliant to me. I think it was just a. You know they were showing that they wanted me to stay. Mm -hmm. Cool. And uh, when you first came to Spurs, who were like your your running buddies when you were there? Who did you like click with immediately? Who are your friends in your time at Spurs? Well, I mean, when I first joined, there was a few new players that came in at the same time. Razor Rudd Ruddock joined from oh, Southampton, right, yeah. so um, he was a, a lunatic, as you as you can yeah, imagine. Yeah. Um, Steve Sedgley uh, again nuts, but just you know very daunting going to a you know a big club like Spurs from Portsmouth, leaving home. And they just, you know, from day one, just made me feel so so at ease and uh, really enjoyed it. A month later, a couple of you know, a couple of games into the season, Teddy Sheringham joined, mm -hmm. and we and we just clicked both on and off the pitch. And uh, you know, from that point, really, you know, he he almost took me under his wing, uh, looked after me, and uh, you know, went on to have a you know, great relationship both on and off the field. Brilliant. And and do you feel uh, a little bit? Obviously, they're on like stacks of money, even more so now. But do you feel a little bit sorry for? youngsters nowadays because they can't with all the social media so they can't go out because they just get caught every single time yeah. and then they're straight in the paper as soon as they've had a night out that's right it's um you know that they've got a bit if they're going to have a little night out they've got to be very clever about it uh and go where i guess 
there's no one about. I mean, down the web spoons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> basically, but it's all about phones and you know camera phones. I mean, when, when we were playing, uh, you know, it just started coming in. You know, mm-hmm. as I got into my late twenties, people with camera phones and that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, yes, the the money now that they get is absolutely ridiculous. If you're, you know, at the, at the top at the top mm-hmm. level, but but, um, but there's no, you know, you almost don't have a life. Mm-hmm. You. Know, you you will spend the majority of your career in and out of hotels, going to games, training, um, and if you do step out of line, you'll be very lucky to get away with it. Speaking of which, when you was a player, was there a time where by going out or by doing something that you shouldn't have been doing, did you get in any serious trouble as a Tottenham player? No, not really. I think um, I remember I was out once on a Thursday night. I had friends over from America, um, and I went out on a Thursday night into what would have been Woodford back in the day and uh, Alan Sugar's son was it was in the bar and well, I remember going back in uh, training on the Friday or okay um, Saturday uh, Christian Groves pulled me before the game just saying I hear you're out on, uh, on Thursday night and uh, I was like no 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 I was just um, out having a bit of dinner and just had a couple of drinks with my, my mates before, and I went home early and he's and like oh okay well you shouldn't really do that I said well don't worry you, you'll see it won't affect me today in any way and we beat Wimbledon 6-2 so of course all the lads knew about it yeah, and yeah. Um, Daniel Sugar uh, he came into the change room after the game to which all the lads absolutely battered him <laughs> snitch <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who was like the biggest prankster when he was at Spurs in the tra- in the change room oh it would have been Sedge uh, Steve Sedgley um, absolute he was, he was crazy you, I, you, I um, read a thing about no I, I heard it on somewhere that mm-hmm. uh, it was about him and Gaza and Gaza, Gaza dared yeah. him to eat uh, I think it was a urinal yeah, cake, yeah. and then he ate it. And he said, "I'll give you a twenty quid check," and then he ate the check as yeah, well. Check. He does it. That would, that would be, you know, you go out to train, and he'd have worms in, in his mouth and all sorts. You know, <laughs> what is he doing? Nicky Barbie was, he was sick, he was ill after a night out in Spain once, and just, he was picking bits out of it. And, but and, see, and as as a Spurs fan, you that. wouldn't expect that. I mean, that's why I had to ask you, because yeah, yeah, in yeah, the yeah, media, yeah. you're always this like it's sort just, of you're like a little cherub faced. And then it's like, what is he up to, actually? So I got all good fun. I, you know, like to keep my, you know, I was when I played, hundred percent always team player. But at the same time, I'm all about the team in terms of you know bonding and having a good time with your mates. And so that's why I think that I was fortunate. And when I played uh, my career, start the Premier League, you still had that element of fun and being able to Mm -hmm. get away with a little bit more, as well as you know the foreign influence then came into it more which meant that you became better players, career was prolonged. Mm-hmm. You know, I was able to play until I was 37, 38. Um, but the boys now, yes, the money's great, but um, not quite the, the same pressure. team team bonding that, yeah, that yeah, we used to have. Right, a couple of quick fire ones in. Okay. Hardest play you've ever played with? With Stuart Pearce. Against? Stuart Pearce. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you love playing against? Love playing against? Uh, oh, wow. In terms of, they were useless. Or, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> or, or, but like, uh, or team. You can say. A team I used to love playing against Southampton because oh, that was a team that yeah, yeah. I used to get loads of stick, and I just used to love beating them, and you know, giving my mates, you know, loads when we beat yeah. them. We lucky enough, we beat them six two at their place once, beat them seven two at, uh, at, at ours. Uh, yeah, I was at Scored my game, first yeah. league goal against them as well yeah. in a four two win when we scored four goals in four minutes. So. I love playing against them. Great stuff. And finally, um, we was talking about him before, and he's actually like a mate of mine. I did a radio show with him for a little while. Mm. Have you got a little message for Razor? Razor? Oh, God, he's got to stop eating. <laughs> <laughs> um, Darren, it's been a real pleasure. Cheers. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, if you've got anything that you would like to add, please comment below, or also don't forget to follow us on the Twitter handle spurred on tv i've forgotten what i'm saying it's joey page see you later all right bye my dream is that we get in on the cheap charlie austin and danny ings all the rumors yesterday that danny ings is going to come from burnley 